Hello, this is Christovar, and welcome to episode 21, part 5, 5, 5 of putting the baseball card collection together, where I do just that. I work on putting my baseball card collection together. Feel free to either work on your collection or open some packs of sports cards or whatever you may collect. Um, I'll be working on my collection here, and there you go. Um, so, prior episodes, we culminated with doing the, the whole base set, which is over here in the binder, the re regular set. Today, I'm going to be finally putting the inserts and refractors and parallels, you know, parallels, refractors, and all that stuff. This is, once again, the um, 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball that I'm working on. So here we go. So here's the first one over here. These are the uh, refractors. So yeah, refractors. Just the regular refractors. And I put them all in order. I put them all in order already so I didn't have to spend 11 hours doing it and then not getting to this because I wanted this to be the last video of this episode. <laughs> Five-part episode. Episode 21. So here we go. I have them in order, so you'll be able to see. And here are the doubles for or from the, real quick, the uh, inserts or whatnot. So here are the doubles I have. All of these are doubles. I had a lot of Acuna doubles of various things. Several pink doubles. <laughs> and then sepia doubles. Mmm, shine, shine doubles, freshman flash doubles, and Acuna. Had three doubles of Acuna in the 1984 replica. Yeah, these are all my doubles. Had to put a doubles label on them so I knew to put them in a separate, put them away somewhere. Even these two here. I guess I pulled that three times because those two are doubles. <laughs> all right, so there we go. Yeah, see, I put a little doubles label so I know that these are doubles until I put them away. Anyway, so let's get going with the refractors here. All right, so here we go. I'm not going to skip spaces or anything because I'm not really concerned with completing the refractor set. If I get one that I don't have after this, then I'll put it at the end. Um, and that's the way I'm going to go. I'll put like... A space or a couple spaces like in between just in case in between each type of insert or parallel so there we go i guess i should show the camera which card it is so you see what i got for the refractors i guess it doesn't matter because they're just regular refractors or whatever got a lot of them but not all so justin berlander Max Muncy, Paul DeYoung, Joey Gallo, Ugh. Matt Chapman, and Javier Baez, Ryan O'Hearn. go first page is done getting down there and hope we have enough time anyways yeah so I don't know what this last part I'm filming it much later in the week because um, I was just, it was tiring after those four videos I recorded last Sunday or whatever and I just ran out of time and realized I wasn't going to get them all done so I figured I'll just Record the other one, this one here, on uh, sometime during the week to finish it out because I really wanted to finish the whole series before releasing it. Oh, there's a Cunha. Before releasing it, I wanted to release them all. And what I'm going to do is they're going to be, well, you know by now, but I'm going to be releasing them 
an hour apart from each other. So it's like one after another, but it's gonna be one at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Hey, yeah, that sounds like a happy day song. <laughs> yeah. Here's Juan Soto. Charlie Blackman. Right. You know, a lot of folks don't care for the sorting part, but they like seeing the cards go into the binder. I guess that's the thing, watching watching the cards go into the binder finally after the sorting, after the grunt work's all done. <laughs> Sterling Castro. Yeah. I guess, I don't know. So I had a video the other day of, you know, I figured, you know, I'd show everybody what I purchased. And of course, you know, I have, you know, the comments of spending so much money or, oh my God, did you buy everything? No, actually, I probably bought about 15% of everything they had there. And if you heard me during the video, I was saying I could have easily spent like a thousand or even more dollars on stuff that day. There was so much stuff there. Like the whole darn thing was full of 2019 Topps Chrome update series. I'm going to leave these blank. So that'll be a good blank spot. Well, I'll just leave these two empty. But yeah, they're wondering, wow, he spent so much money on that stuff. Well, Here's, I'll let you in on how, so these are the um, prism refractors, prism refractors, just. So what I do, how I have money is every Friday, every Friday. So uh, myself and my wife get paid on every, every other Friday. So I get paid uh, like, and they're offset as well. So I get paid. For example, this past Friday, and my wife gets paid next Friday. So we get a big check every every week, basically, because they're offset. And what I do every Friday is I put $50 into savings account, just $50. And, uh, you know, I only purchase cards probably like every couple months or so. So after a couple of months, you have a good few hundred dollars in there from putting $50 a week in savings. And then, you know, then you have it for either vacation or to purchase baseball cards. So that's my, my little secret on how I have money. I don't put it on credit cards or anything. Except like when I buy stuff from Target, I'll use the Target card for to get the, the 5% to get the 5% off. But as soon as I get home, or as soon as the statement comes, I wait till the statement comes. You know, it doesn't charge any interest if you pay it off right away the first when the statement comes. So when the statement comes, I just pay it off, and then so I don't get any interest. And that's how that works for that. So I get five five percent off of you know all the stuff I purchased from Target or Target. Money Talk with Christopher. Yeah. In IRL, I am an accountant. I am an accountant for whatever. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Wow. So here's the pink refractors. Yeah, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. So there you go. Now you know. Money Man. Yes, I love working with numbers. Numbers is my job. I'm a stereotypical person that sits in a cube all day and crunches numbers, basically. I am that stereotype at work. So that's why sometimes my personality seems awkward, because it basically is. I use actually use the uh, YouTube to try to Im improve on, you know, whatever my... Uh, Oh, I don't want to know what you want to call it. Uh, personality or uh, personal benefit. I don't know the word for it. Uh, outgoingness or talkativeness. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm a pretty quiet person. Unless if you really get to know me, then, you know, you can't, can't get Christopher to shut up. 
yeah, that's what these these videos help with that and talking and stuff like that. So there you go. Little secret reveal. Cristobar doesn't really talk that much IRL in real life. And he uses his YouTube videos as a tool to improve on that to get his talking skills, you know, and personal person person whatever dealing with people better or more echoing, whatever you want to call it. All right. So these are pink refractors, not as many as them. And what I did was I put them in order, the parallels in order according to my personal importance. Like for example, the, what I feel is, or the lower, the lower to the higher end parallels. You know, so I have regular refractors, then the prism refractors, and now the pink refractors. And then next, sepia refractors, because they're next on the my faves list. I mean, the towards, I'm going from the worst to the best, I guess, if you want to call it that. Worst to the best. Oops. Oh, have them upside down. All right. Here we go. Doesn't matter, like I said, because if I get any more, I'll be putting them at the end of these. Anyways, so they'll be eventually jumbled if I ever get more to add on. I won't be putting them in order because I'm not leaving spaces. It's kind of wasteful. Use these pages as a commodity because you know, when you have so many cards, you need the pages. If you have so many pages with that have blanks on them, then it's kind of wasteful. All right. Ozzy Albies. Good old sepia. Very nice. All right. There we go. Okay. Let me get a drink of coffee there. Mm. Coffee times. Actually thinking about deleting a couple of my videos I don't know because it's like people don't understand why why I do things sometimes because you know all they see is that one snapshot that one video where I like do something or do, don't do something or refuse to do something um, yeah they don't see like the previous video or videos where you know the same thing happened and it culminated with with me getting upset and cutting it off before it gets you know too much out of hand and stuff like that um, because I am not made out of money like I said I put money back every Friday and it's for me to buy packs and boxes of baseball cards oh anyway so next are the super fractors nice checkboard shine So skip two spaces for extras. All right. Starling Marte. Doom and Gloom Talk by Christovar. Doom, Gloom, and Money Talk. <laughs> Doom and Gloom Money Talk with Christovar. <laughs> Anyways, I just need to get some stuff off my chest. I don't care. Nobody watches these videos anyways, and if you do, then you're in it for, you're in it for the win. Uh, most couldn't care less about these, but this is like a video that I would watch all the time back in the day before I had, before I started making videos on YouTube. I wish I had videos to watch like this, because I would have worked on my cards then. All I had was a couple or a very few handful of guys that opened up packs and boxes and that was it and I had that to work with so because I don't know anybody in real life that around me at all that collects baseball cards so 
Yep. So I must rely, I relied on YouTube, watching YouTube videos. All right, so now last, or yeah, next to last are the native cards. Nice. Oops, upside down. All right, 15 minutes in, doing good on time. Okay, take a drink of coffee. Mm. Drink it before it gets cold. It's lukewarm. I don't like it pipe my coffee piping hot, but I don't like it cold either. I like it warm enough to drink, but not cold. Cold coffee is yuck. Just don't like the flavor cold. All right, so I only have six negative cards. Here are these, the numbered cards. So these are numbered out 50, gold wave. What is this? It's numbered out 50, yeah. It's weird because it's like different. Must have been from a different set. I don't know. No, three, six. Number to 50, but it's not, doesn't have a wave to it. That's weird. And this one here is number to 75, blue wave, and then 99, green, and then Buster Posey, 150. All right. So I'm going to skip a whole page. So I have all these on the same page. All right. Oh. Oops. So I'll go worst to first. So the one that's numbered to 150. Now one that's numbered to 99. One that's numbered to 75. Don't worry, they're my cards, dude. I don't care. Jesus. Oh my God. Get a slight thing on there. Number to 50, number to 50. Gotta take care. My cards, I don't care. They're going to be in this binder. All right. And next, so parallels are done. Now it's inserts time. So the first inserts going from worst to first again. First is going to be the 1984 replicas. All right. So I'll start. I'll skip. I'm going to skip one space because I don't think I'll get any more number. No, I'll skip two spaces. Whatever. Yeah. All right. These are upside down. Okay. Here we go. One Soto. Cedric Mullins. Glaber Torres. Ooh. Matt Chapman. Justin Upton, Luis, Luis, here he is. Noah Syndergaard. Can't call him Thor anymore because Thor lost his. He got a haircut. Of, <laughs> he got a haircut a few uh, movies ago. So you can't call him Thor unless he cuts his hair. <laughs> Mike Trout, Kyle Tucker, Mookie Betts. Blake Bowers, Colby Allard, Justice Sheffield, Acuna Jr., Shohei Otane. All right, there's that. Let's get one space, two spaces. All right. Next are the Freshman Flash or Future Star cards. Raul Acuna Jr. is on the bottom. All right, here we go. Might actually make time, maybe. Oops. What's going on here? There we go. Had him upside down. Yes. Just remember all these videos. The cards are mine, dude. A lot of people don't realize that these are mine. They're not yours. So, there you go. Oh, I didn't skip a space. I skipped one space. Oh, well. Got to skip the other space. All right. Get down there, Scott Kingery. Ahmed Rosario. And Acuna Jr. 
Poof, that's that. All right. Now it's freshman flash time. Okay. Let's see here. Now, Kyle Wright. Rowdy Telez. Ramon Loriano. Chris Shaw. Justice Sheffield. Michael Kopeck. Luis, here is once again. Freshman Flash. All right. So now we have these. I didn't get all of them, but I had two doubles of the same one. Pretty cool. So we have this one. Andrew Benatendi. Aaron Judge. Glaber Torres. Mookie Betts. Finally. Giancarlo Stanton. All right. So we have these extra here. I'm going to take out. All right. So we can use these in another binder. Sweet. Leftovers. All right. Get your pants in a bind. Cards are okay. They're not going to be damaged. <laughs> so here it is. 2019 Tops Chrome. My collection. So, what? Is this Yadier Molina? Number 55? Postilion? Let's go through here. This is my 2019 collection. Tops Chrome. All right. Oh, get this out of the way. There we go. There, you can see the names somewhat. Binder. It's almost complete. I'm missing just a handful. There's one card there that's missing. I accidentally put uh, missed uh, leaving out of space for another card, and there's another card that's missing. There's another card. Yeah, about a handful. I bet less than 10 I'm missing. Tops Crobe. Oh, there's missing one there. And that's the end of that. Now the refractors. And inserts, parallels and inserts. So these are the refractors. Here starts the prism parallels. And here starts the pink parallels. Oh, sepia coming up. Sepia refractors. And last but not least, the Super fractors, X fractors, whatever you want to call them. X fractors. I don't know. X shiny. Shiny. And then the negative. Negative cards. And then the numbered parallels. Nice. And the 1984 inserts. This starts the inserts. Future star cards. Freshman flashes. And then the greatness cards. Yeah, kind of we used one on two of them, but oh well, just in case if I need to move it up. But, or if I need some more room in the two spaces I left in between each, I could always put them in the, put them in the back, whatever, instead of 
removing them. There you go. So thanks for sticking with it. If you watched all five episodes, I salute you. Oh, all five parts, I mean. So this has been episode 21, part five of putting the baseball card collection together. Feel free to tap that like, share, and or subscribe button. Leave a comment if you like. I'll see you out there in YouTube land. Bye.